Teacher Arame. Are you ready to learn? Come and join me as we discover more learning one video lesson at a time. Our topic is organizing information from secondary sources. Our learning competency, organize information from secondary sources in preparation for writing, reporting, and similar academic tasks in collaboration with others. Let us first define secondary source. Secondary source is a document or recording that gives information from a primary source. The original information is selected, modified, and arranged in a suitable format. Here are some examples of secondary sources. Reference materials, non-fiction books, biographies, non-print materials, almanacs, atlases and gazetteers, specialized references, CD-ROM references, periodicals, encyclopedias, video references, and electronic databases. Secondary sources involve generalization, analysis, interpretation, or evaluation of the original information. Using primary source or secondary source helps you gather information. Some very important tasks you do in school, either in face-to-face -face or distance learning, requires writing composition and presenting oral and written reports. Here are some ideas in organizing information from the secondary sources. First, you can organize information by their location. Also, you can consider alphabet. You can also consider time in organizing your information. Also, you can categorize or consider the category. And lastly is hierarchy. Let us talk about location. You can organize information by showing visual depiction of a physical space. You may use diagrams, analogs, graphic representations, and maps to organize location. You may uh, take this for example, the parts of the nervous system. We can present it using the diagram that you are seeing on the screen. Next is alphabet. Some information is easy to organize using specific terms in alphabetical order, like the dictionaries and index, or at the index at the top of the textbook. When we talk about time, another important factor is organizing information is the time element, like history of humanity, or events happen in a person's life journey. You can take a fishbone diagram, for example, also a timeline, steps, and cyclographic organizer. In terms of category, the use of category in presenting information is different from time. This type is used to group similar characteristics such as color, size, usage, brand, texture, materials, gender, age, model, price, content, and nature. For example, you can categorize types of vehicles and it can be written and presented according to their usage, brand name, model, and price. Let us now talk about hierarchy. Hierarchy is used to indicate the ranks as to heaviest to lightest or smallest to be you can use rank of government officials as an example, from president to vice president, senator, congressman, governor, and mayor and barangay captain. Let's have the first activity, which is alphabet. Organize the verbs in alphabetical order. 
Can you organize the following verbs in alphabetical order? The verbs are admire, enjoy, born, wish, and make. I will give you time to do this activity. Here is the correct alphabetical order. Admire, born, enjoy, make, and wish. How many correct answers did you get? Were you able to organize the verbs in alphabetical order? Let us proceed to our next activity, which is hierarchy. This time, you have to organize the parts of the body from head to toe. Here are the different parts of the body that you have to organize from head to toe. Feet, head, shoulders, waist, and knees. I will give you time to answer this activity. Here are the correct answers. The head should come first, and then the shoulders, and then the waist, the knees, and lastly, the feet. Did you get the correct answer? Type in your score on the comment section. Let us now proceed to the third and our last activity, which is about time. This time, you have to organize the following events to create a story. Here are the events that you have to organize to create a story. She became amputated. The neighbors are celebrating. They lighted the fireworks and hit her legs. I will give you time to answer this activity. Here are the correct answers. The first event is the neighbors are celebrating. And then they lighted the fireworks and hit her legs. And lastly, she became amputated. Did you get or were you able to organize the events and created a story? Type in yes or no on our comment section. How did you find our activities today? Using the symbols below, choose one which best describes your experience in working on each given task. Comment down three smiling faces if you were able to do the task without any difficulty, the task helped you in understanding the lesson and you learned a lot today. Comment down two smiling faces if you were able to do the task. It was quite challenging but it still helped you in understanding the lesson. And comment down one smiling face if you were not able to do the task. It was extremely difficult and you need additional enrichment activities to be able to do it. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for good luck and good grades. Until next time!